Alright, today I'm doing kind of like a how-to video. I'm using these. This is the American Tackle Company's Jig Skins or Pro Skins. Got both. And what these are is this is an actual pattern taken from a real bluegill. And I've got this one over here, it's a little bit longer from an actual shad or a shiner maybe. But uh, anyway, these are designed so you can refurbish or just put a new design on old or beat up or crankbaits and things like that or hard body lures. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, there's four per pack on the, the smaller size ones, I forget. I think this was the medium and this was like the large or something. Uh, so it's easy to use, applies in seconds. You take off all the hardware from the lure. And what I've got is not actually an old lure, but brand new ones. Uh, these aren't exactly what I ordered from eBay, but they'll work for now. I'm a little disappointed these aren't what I ordered. These are the cheaper version of what I ordered. Uh, there was 10 of them for about $6, but they sent me these that were not quite worth as much. Now it says, cut this to the original length and cut openings for the hardware. Like that. It should actually work right there. You are supposed to boil water, that's the main thing. Dip original lure with the jig skin sleeve in gently boiling water for five seconds. I'm not sure if you saw what I just did there, but I marked where the, uh, the eyelet was going to be and I cut a little slit in it. So I can pop it through. That should work right there. There we go. So it's got a little little slit in it right there for the eyelet, for the hook, and then the other one should be fine. All right, the water's boiling, so I'm gonna turn it off for a minute. Try to do this quick. It says to do it for about five seconds. So let's see. And it didn't even take that long. That was quick. That was instant. That was like instant on there. You got the logo is a little crooked. It, it this is a little crooked, but I mean, can't really complain on that. That is, it's already cool to touch. I'm gotta say I'm pretty happy with that. That was quick. That was pretty awesome. I want to do it again. So that. It's a little bit wonky on this side. Guess I didn't have it centered right because I did it pretty quick. But this side came out perfect. The other side, I mean, that's close enough for a lure. I mean, all right, this is going to be kind of hard to do where the camera can see it. But I'm going to do it again. Got it on here. Same thing I did a minute ago. Just dip it right in and it shrinks right on. I hope that came out. So. This one didn't quite come out as good as the first one, but it came out all right. <laughs> now, I'm going to get some hooks on it and get out on the water and see if I can catch something with it. All right, now that I know there's some fish in here, I'm going to throw this. This is the one I, well, you know what? I'm shooting two videos at once, basically. Oh, there we go. Didn't take me very long to do that at all. Oh, he just slipped off, man. That was a good looking fish too. There we go, first cast with the jig skins crankbait. And uh, well, I don't know if you got to see him there or not, but he slipped off right here at my feet. But that's not the jig skins fault. That's, uh, that's the crankbait hooks that I put on there. 
Alright, let's try this again. See if we can get another one. It's pretty hot so far. There, oh man, there's another bite. Man, there. It is on fire today at this pond. Oh, there we go. On the crankbait. Came up and grabbed it pretty good. And he slipped. Fish in this little pond are just feisty. There you go. Little one, he took the crankbait pretty, on a really erratic uh, retrieve there. It's the third one on the crank. The first one I've actually gotten up on land. They've been slipping off of it pretty good. And when he slipped off of this one, he wrapped it around the rod. Come on. 